In this problem, we're told that the data for water flow into a reactor is given in this table, and we're to find an equation for the flow as a function of time. The first thing we need to notice is that time is given in seconds and the flow is given in meters cubed per hour. Probably the easiest thing to do would be to change this, the time, into hours. So we'll write above this T in hours and change each of these to hours. So we need to divide each by 3,600. Zero divided by 3,600 is, of course, just zero. Now let's get our calculator. So we need 100 divided by 3,600. And that's 0 0.02, and then as many sevens until we want to write an eight. So this is 0 0.027778. This is times 10 of that, so 0 0.27778. And this is 10 times that, so 2.7778. So now, in order to make an equation for the flow as a function of time, we need to graph this data on a graph to see what kind of function we're looking at. So let's pull up a Cartesian graph. And what do we have? We have that t goes from 0 to somewhere around 3, right? 0 to 3. And so this would be 1 and 2. And what do we have on V? We have starts at 1 and it goes down to almost 0. So we need an interval on V to be from 0 to 1. So this would be about 0.5. So what do we have? We have 0, 1. That's this point right here, 0, 1. And then we have uh, 0, 0. So that's really, really close down here. We can hardly see it. And it's 95. And then we have uh, 0.2, which is still pretty close, one, one fifth of this, right, one, one third of this, and 0 0.63, so here. And then when we get all the way over to 3, we finally get, we're almost at 0 here, so here we are. So this is our curve. And what kind of curve do we think this is? This is what we call an exponential drop. And kind of the way the data was given in 0, 100, 1,000, 10,000 probably would have told us it was also an exponential drop. This means it it's drops off very fast and then it's, the drop off slows down. So what does an exponential function look like? It looks like, if we write it with phi, phi of t equals a e to the minus k t. And what we need to do is find a and k from our data. a is the easiest one to find. We use t equals 0. So at t equal to 0, what does our table tell us? Our table tells us that we have t equal to 0, v equals 1 v of 0 equals 1. And then from our function that we're working on, so and, here we have v of 0 equals a e minus k times 0. Well, this is altogether 1 in a 0. So this is a. So we have a equals 1. And we can rewrite our function that we're solving as v of t equals 1, we won't write the 1, e to the minus k t, and we still need to find k. So a good thing to notice is that, you see how these are really close together? This probably, this data is not extremely accurate. See how this is really close to 0? This data probably isn't all that accurate. So I would use this piece of data or I would use all the data and average. But if you only have time to use one piece of data to find k, use your middle piece of data. 
So what does that say? At t equals 0 0.2. 7778. Seven, we have phi of that. I'm not going to rewrite it. Phi of that equals 0.63. And on the other hand, if we use our function, we have phi of 0 0.2778 equals here we're using this, e to the minus k times this, 0 0.27778. So now these two things we need to equalize and solve for k. So here we have e to the minus k times 0 0.27778 equals 0 0.27778. 6, 3. Because we have e, we're going to take ln of both sides so that it cancels. ln of this e to the minus k point zero two seven 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 eight equals ln of 0 0.63. The exponent comes up front and ln of e is 1, so we have minus k times 0 0.2778 eight equals ln of 0 0.63. So we're going to find ln of 0 0.63, divide it by that to get minus k. Calculator? So 0 0.63 ln on this calculator and then divided by 0 0.277. We're going to add as many sevens as we can and then an eight equals minus 1.66. So minus k equals minus 1.66. So we got minus k equals m minus 1.66. Now you might ask why I left it as minus k. That's because minus k is here. So we have v of t e and then we have minus k up here, so we write minus 1.66 and then times t. Always check these, make sure that you have t on both sides. And remember that minus has to be there because this is dropping meters cubed per hour. That is our answer.